Where are we? We're back! Hey, I missed you guys! Pistol! We're back! Where are we at? Did We're everything back. come in? We're reconfiguring the shop for you. Our shelf is the shelf overflowing. Is Look at this. What do we got here? Oh, this is a candy store if you're a van builder. This is our extruded aluminum. Well, we could probably get to work, don't you yes. think? This is probably 90% of all that you need for the job. Nice. And your shelf's full. You got, you got your fans, you got an air conditioner, you got your toilet. Yep. We got our mattress. 40 gallon water tank. Yep. Two of them. <laughs> we'll see what we do with those. All right. I think it's time we get to work. It's time to get everything set up and get to work. All right. Bring it in. Three, two, one. Bang it on there. Today, you guys look at everything we got done take a look we are working on the flooring in the garage so we're starting in the garage for everything because this is really a lot is happening back here so we're gonna start in the back and move our way forward so we're just gonna do this area here because we can't do the whole floor now because of the fridge goes here and we don't have the fridge yet yep. and we have the dimensions but we want to have the real thing to make sure that you know it we know where it's ex exactly going to set. So for now, we're putting our insulation, a little subfloor down. Yeah, so check out what we've got going on down here. We've got aluminum tubing that we will be gluing to the floor here in a minute. And then we also have one inch insulation foam board that's going in between. So this is all going to be really nice and tight. And then this. Then the, yep, yeah, this is just regular old plywood. And then. Uh, one of the things that, you know, I hadn't even thought about that, that George thought of was, you know, do we want to have a hose bib out the back for washing the mountain bikes off? We thought, yeah, let's just plan for that. I'm really excited about it because I, we currently have an outdoor kind of spigot off the back of the van and I use it constantly to rinse out big pots or, you know, anything. I'm always back there using that water source and it's not going down into our gray water tank, which I love. So... Um, yeah, we kind of talked to George about it and he's thought, oh, well, I can just do this. And within a matter of minutes, you know, he had fashioned this. I don't know. Should we get him in here and have him explain what the heck it is? George, you want to come talk about the... What's this crazy water tubing thing going on back here? Oop, 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 opener. <laughs> Oompa loompas. O opener. Opener. <clears throat> opener is, it's similar to PEX tubing but the fittings are very different and it's just, it's really flawless stuff. We've got it all wrapped up here. We do, yeah. But uh, this- We'll more when we do the kitchen. Yeah, once we do, the, all the plumbing in here is gonna be opener. The same Yeah, system. it's gonna okay. be, it's really good stuff. And we're trying to maintain home runs. I wanna use as few fixtures and fittings as possible. Uh, long lengths of just solid tubing so we minimize any chance for leakage. We do not want leakage. No, no leakage. No There'll be leakage no leakage in this van. No leakage. And then this is for a, uh, we ran this cold water line now uh, because we're going to put a spigot outside on the back. Uh, you can rinse your bikes. You can wash your, uh, your dirty dog or any stinky people that come by. <laughs> so that'll be outside and uh, that's going to tie into the water system over here. We're going to have a nice manifold up here for the, all the different water legs we have to put in. 
So tonight, the remainder of the evening, we are going to be taking all this out and then gluing it back in, laying the plywood on top until we're ready to fashion that. And tomorrow we will start working on bridge the bridges this bridge is water and heat that bridge is electric and solar and you're pretty excited to start working on these bridges i can tell, I can tell. <laughs> yeah. I'm stoked. and these bridges are made out of extruded aluminum yes and uh this amazing one, stuff this one because it's going to house the big mama luke battery 160 yep. pound battery 75 pound inverter this is the same freedom e gen system that was in van number one. Uh, so that bridge is gonna be made out of inch and a half, 80, 20, and there'll be a truss system built under it. This one is gonna have a very nice uh, mer uh, a hot water tank from the marine industry, as well as our water pump and our heating. We've got a really keen manifold system where we can pull engine heat while they're driving but we're not pulling that engine glycol all the way back here. We're gonna just interrupt and have our own closed system here. So that's all on this one, not as heavy. So it's gonna be one inch bridge on this side. And we minimize weight, we minimize distance. We've got some trays coming in for bicycles and storage. We, we got a lot going on, but I'm really thrilled with what we got done today and we're still not done. So should we get right. to it? We got one more move, glue down the tubes. Let's do it.